hello guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for subscribing to my channel today we are going to learn about laravel models uh, so let's start uh, first of all to create a model we have to go to our terminal and in here we have to write php artisan make model then at the end we will write our model name and in here also what i want is to create controller and migration with my this product so what i will do i will uh, dash mc m is m is stand for migration and c is stand for controller so i will hit enter it's been created successfully uh, in app folder models as you guys can see products model and the controller if we go and and see the controller the controller is also created so what i want is uh, i want to create one more model uh, for uh, photos of product let's say php artisan make model uh, photos and this one also with um, migration and controller hit enter done now let's go to migration and create the co columns so for this i will just say table string name and table integer value or price then table integer quantity at the end i will create uh, one more column to store users id in here so i should know who created this so in here i will use uh, foreign id foreign id and created by here constraint my users table name copy and paste now in the photos i want to store this product photos and also similar i want to store users photo so i will write here uh, table string path I here table foreign id product id constraint my product table name same i will add one more column this time user id because i want to store user uh, photos here and my user table name so let's uh, run our migration to do that in here i will type php artisan migrate enter so our migration is done now let's go to our uh, models in here now in here uh, i i want to create the relationship between users and photos same products and photos so let's see how we can create one to many and one to one relationship so let's now create our one to one relationship in users model to do that i will come to user model and in here I, in the top i will write public function uh, each user have a single photo so i will type here photo and inside this method i will return dollar sign this has one and my photos model photos model class with foreign key which is user id so our one-to-one uh, -one relationship is done uh, that's uh, how we can get uh, photos of each user uh, now let's go back to web create a route in here for controller i will type route gate 
user photos and I will create a method and set photos controller so I will type here photos controller and after that I will type the uh, method name which is user photos now let's go to our photos controller in here I will type public function show users photo and inside this I will create a variable and I will call users model with my relation name which is if I come here copy this and paste it here now at the end gate now if I return this return those items and also in, in a new terminal run my project php artisan serve so it's done let's copy our route let's go to browser and in here paste it so now you guys can see each of my user have a single photo it will bring it the the path and all the records from the photos table with only second so this is how we create a one-to-one -one relationship and now let's move to one to money so let's go to product and in, in here I will type public function photos and I will inside this method I will return dollar sign this has money so in here again I will type my photos model and comma the foreign key which is product ID so this is done now let's go back to our photos controller and return our products with its photos so in the state of user now I will type products with photos uh, sorry it's photos with s mm -hmm. okay now let's go to browser refresh our page so if we open the uh, photos now you guys can see each of um, my product have multiple photos so for example this one if I go uh, to photos open it will show all informations about the photos which is in there so similarly like this so now let's say we want to uh, return our photos with uh, users and products so let's see how we can do that to do that we come to products model and in here we will type public function create a new method with the name of users and inside it i will return dollar sign this belongs to our uh, model name which is user class comma and the foreign key which is user id now let's copy this and create one more method for our product and i will rename it to products and here also i will type my model name products here I will type the product ID which is the foreign key so now let's save all of them go back to controller in here I will type another method which is public function uh, show photos and I will create a variable items my model name photos with uh, and 
inside array i will type these two relationships which is users and product okay, users comma product and at the end i will type gate now let's return this first uh, let's create a route for this route gate and my photos controller colon colon class and my method name okay let's save all of them and go to browser and paste it here enter so as you guys can see it uh, return all our pro uh, photos if you pad uh, web users and product if we open this we can see all the information of our users and product for each our of our photo similarly if i open this one you guys can see it, the users and the products okay thanks a lot for watching hope you like the video and please don't forget to press the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video